these animals are just majestic and look so human. The 12th episode of Animal Battle is going to be a special one, because these two candidates for the title of the best animal in the world aren't just powerful, but are also incredibly smart. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present you our two competitors, the Gorilla versus the Orangutan. And stay tuned until the end of the video to find out the winner of the last battle between the Caracal and the Clouded Leopard. Let's do it. I'm Mario and this is Animal Battle. Before we start, I should say that Animal Battle isn't about who is stronger in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Instead, we are going to see which one is better, evaluating them based on six different characteristics. Agility, attack, defense, intelligence, bone skill and survival. Also, you should know that there are two species of gorillas, western and eastern gorillas, and three species of orangutans, Bornean, Sumatran and Tapanuli. But the species don't differ that much, so we are going to compare gorillas and orangutans in general. Now let's go right to agility. So gorillas can run with a speed of up to 40 km per hour, which is quite decent. But how fast are orangutans? Well, I tried looking it up on the internet, searched in books, went through each word written in ancient manuscripts and decided to go on a journey of self-discovery. It was there, on the top of the highest mountain, that I realized. But orangutans don't really walk on the ground and they actually spend most of their life in trees. They are very good climbers due to their long and strong arms. They have an arm span of 2 meters, so they mostly travel from tree to tree and travel on the ground only when there is no alternative. Gorillas can also climb trees, although not as good and, surprisingly, neither gorillas nor orangutans can swim. So let's see their agility stats. They are quite good, especially for such big animals. It's time to go to their attack and defense stats. Since the last episode of Animal Battle, I have realized that it was not necessary to use my detective skills learned as a Russian spy to find out the animal size. Yet I still counted the pixels and approximated that gorillas are about 1.4 to 1.8 meters tall and can weigh around 136 to 195 kilograms. I did the same thing for orangutans and found out that they can be 1.37 meters tall and can weigh around 75 kilograms, which means that they are fairly smaller than gorillas. And of course my calculations match the numbers on Wikipedia, so both of them are vegetarian. Still, gorillas are very powerful. They can lift up to 815 kilograms, which is just impressive. Also, they can easily break banana trees, and if they get to hold a human by his leg, they can pull it around without any effort. And they also have large canines and a powerful bite. But, despite all of those characteristics, gorillas are not very aggressive and attack just when they feel in danger, for protection and use their fangs only for intimidation. Orangutans are even less aggressive since they usually eat fruits, but if they need, they can use their powerful arms. As you can see, they are also stronger than a human, even though they are not as heavy. And, as seen in this video, an orangutan can overpower even a sumo wrestler. Orangutans still need to watch out for their predators like tigers, clouded leopards, wild dogs and crocodiles, so that is why they usually spend their time in trees. Gorillas can be hunted by leopards, but a silverback, which is the strongest male, will protect its group even at the cost of its own life. Now let's see their stats. So their attack stats are quite high, especially for vegetarians. Gorillas are clearly better at attack and defense being larger and bulkier. But is it possible that intelligence stats will change things around? Let's see. So, because they are primates, intelligence is an important factor. Gorillas are considered highly intelligent. They can use tools in the wild like stones for cracking coconuts or trees to make bridges over rivers. Also, there are cases in which gorillas learn the sign language. The most known one is about the gorilla named Coco, which could express feelings like pain. Also, gorillas build nests on the ground which requires dexterity, but it is not known whether they can recognize themselves in a mirror, so they are still some of the smartest primates, but orangutans might actually be the smartest primates after humans. They are self-aware and can recognize their own reflections. Orangutans build nests every day, and this is a skill that young orangutans learn from their mothers. After selecting the best trees and the strongest branches, they build a resistant nest to which they can add additional features like pillows, blankets and roofs made from leaves. 
Also, when it is raining, orangutans make umbrellas from branches and leaves. Unlike gorillas and chimpanzees, they will be patient and take their time to solve problems. Aside from using tools in the wild, they can also learn to use human tools after observing them. Orangutans have been seen using hammers and saws and are quite good at that. Also, they can learn the sign language and different words and choose a bigger reward after a longer time instead of a small one instantly. This could be observed in a study in which the orangutan learned to use a straw to suck from a can and would later choose a straw instead of an edible bean just in case it could be used later. So let's see their intelligence stats. So they have really high intelligence stats, orangutans being better than gorillas here. And now we will quickly talk about bone skills. Orangutan's reddish orange fur is no accident but an adaptation to camouflage them as they move about in the rainforest canopy. As the sun shines down on the jungle, the dense vegetation absorbs red and orange light. By the time light filters down to the forest floor, red and orange light are almost completely absent. But gorillas have a way more important bone skill, which is living in groups. Their groups are called troops and the leader is a silverback male, which is the one who protects everybody. So living in groups, gorillas are safer and stronger. So their bone skills are... Fairly good. And last, but definitely not least, are survival stats. So gorillas live up to 40 years and orangutans live up to 45 years in the wild. But they're not doing that well. All species of gorillas and orangutans being classified as a critically endangered species. There are about 100,000 western gorillas and less than 5,000 eastern gorillas in the wild. Also, in 2016, it was estimated that around 100,000 orangutans survived in the wild and their population is expected to further decrease to as few as 47,000 individuals by 2025. Let's see their total stats now. Well, they're not doing great at survival stats, but are quite strong and very intelligent animals. Now comes the most important question. Who is the winner? Well, it is up to you because you are the ones that can vote in the poll right there and leave your precious opinions in the comments down below. Also, tell your friends if you have any, parents, and most importantly, tell your babushka to smash that subscribe button because I won't rest until we beat both PewDiePie and T-Series. Nice. It is time to announce the winner of the last battle between the Caracal and the Clouded Leopard. So, after counting all the votes, the winner is... The Clouded Leopard, an incredibly agile animal. And those who voted for a character, don't be upset because here, and I'm from animals, we know that all animals are amazing. So, once again, don't forget to vote the winner of this episode's battle in the top right corner. And if you like what I make, consider supporting me on Patreon. Respect animals.